Hey, what we'll do it, y'all? Switch and take, putting y'all on to all y'all favorite rappers and celebrities alike. But first, I need a little favorite dump for y'all. First, please like, comment, subscribe to this video, hit that notification bell as well. That'd be great, sir. Say, Sean, they put y'all on to this story. Now, today we'll be talking about the New Orleans rapper known as Lil Wayne. Now, Lil Wayne in the past night had made an appearance at the Lil Louisiana Fest. At this event, he was honored and given the keys to the city of New Orleans. Not only that, but it was also made known that Lil Wayne would be the first celebrity to walk the walk of fame in New Orleans, which will take place on February 6th next year in 2025. That footage of Lil Wayne being given the keys to the city of New Orleans will be shown shortly. Footage Master P ended up commemorating the New Orleans rapper Lil Wayne as he received the keys to the city. Following this, Lil Wayne ended up giving his thanks as he received praise and adulation from the crowd. Lil Wayne would then go on to speak on his experiences with being a fan of football and his disappointment with not being chosen as one of the faces and headliners of the Super Bowl that will take place in the year of 2025. That footage will also be provided for the viewing of all viewers currently watching this video shortly. When the first. When the during my lifetime, the first Super Bowl was here. I made sure I bought tickets at the beginning of the season. And you know, I did the same when I moved to Miami and I was wishing my team make it. And guess who made it that year? The mother Saints. I was able to give my mama that sweet. She was able to bring my family and other people from New Orleans and they had a ball. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I worked my off to get that position and it was ripped away from me. But this moment right here, <laughs> they can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Make some noise for yourself for being amazing. Music. So based off of the footage that was shown, Lil Wayne has spoken on his experiences with his hometown team, the Saints. Lil Wayne, according to his word, was in attendance of the first Super Bowl that would take place during his lifetime, with the Saints being in competition. He also was expressive of the feelings that he had had, giving his mom the privilege of being in attendance of the Super Bowl and buying her a suite. He also claimed that he gave his mother the opportunity to bring people close to her to the event as well, and they all ended up having a good time together. Lil Wayne at some point in his life will end up envisioning him being a headliner at the Super Bowl and him having the privilege to perform in front of his mother. Lil Wayne in giving a nod to the fact that he was not allowed the opportunity to be a headliner at the Super Bowl has said that he had worked with a profound ambition to be given that opportunity. Unfortunately, things did not end up going his way, and instead, Kendrick Lamar will be the headliner that will be performing in the year 2025. He stated that that opportunity was taken away from him. Yet, in spite of Lil Wayne making his opinions known about him not being chosen as a headliner in the Super Bowl event, he did acknowledge that him being given the keys to the city of New Orleans was something that could not be taken away from him. Being the bearer of the keys to the city of his hometown, New Orleans, seemed to be of great importance to the widely successful rapper. Now, trailing back almost two months, Months ago, Compton artist Kendrick Lamar was selected as the headliner of the 2025 Super Bowl. Now, given that this Super Bowl event will end up taking place in the city of New Orleans, it was met with some controversy given that Lil Wayne was not selected. Nicki Minaj, for example, was very expressive of her frustrations in Lil Wayne not being chosen as a representative. She took no time to call out the rapper Jay-Z and his music entertainment company, Rock Nation. Jay-Z holds a prominent role in deciding who the headliner will be within the Super Bowl each and every year. This partnership end up being established between Jay-Z and the NFL in the year of 2019. Now dating all the way to the present, Jay-Z and the NFL are still within close connections and end up extending their partnership deal. As far as how long this partnership extension will last, that has yet to be disclosed to the public. Nicki Minaj did not directly call out Jay-Z, but she had made sure to address him, attributing his actions to his potential disdain towards both Drake and herself, saying that this would end up being a significant factor as to why Jay-Z had overlooked Lil Wayne as a representative of the upcoming Super Bowl. But yeah, y'all, let's go cap out this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. What do you guys think of Lil Wayne's comments directed towards those that overlooked them when it came to the headliner of the Super Bowl 2025 event? Do you guys think that Lil Wayne is deserving as an artist to be the bearer of the keys to the city of New Orleans? Or do you guys think that another artist should have the privilege? And to cap that off, with Kendrick Lamar being a headliner of the Super Bowl 2025, does that raise your interest in seeing the event or not? Let all it be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out. Rage on that beat, going crazy.